everybody, this is Daphne. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to do my breakdown from the LA Studio monthly kit for April. Um, in the kit, it comes with uh, an assorted amount of 3x4 cards and 3 4x6 cards and some die cuts. So I'm going to pull these all apart here and I'm going to make my kit bigger here before I break them down into the projects that I'm aiming for. How I'm going to... Um, stretch this kit in a scent or make it bigger, um, I'm going to pull out the paper that pad that I purchased, which is the the best. Um, and I'm going to make some more Project Live cards. And I'm also going to um, make embellishments out of the, uh, some of the papers that are in there. Kind of do like fussy cutting. So that way I can, again, like I said, make this a bigger kit before I break it down into projects. I'm going to have this process um, in a mixture of um, fast forward and a time lapse just because my husband is working on renovations in the master, but you can still hear it. Alright, here. Oh, I'm so excited. I have not been excited to craft in a while. So, to finally feel ready feels so good you guys how is your spring going are you getting that spring cleaning i feel like we hit the bug on that one my husband's getting started on renovations which i'm so excited about the house is a mess the entire master bedroom is scattered all over the living room and a little bit in the dining area so i'm a little um scatterbrained since i can't really clean and um, keep things organized but I'm, I can craft. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and also cut this out. I'm going to pull out the pattern papers here and I'm going to grab one of each set, each design. Um, and one's going to be to do my Project Life cards and the other one I'm going to keep aside for um, like if I wanted to do a bigger project. Alright you guys, I'm switching to a voiceover. So I have a pile there on the left that's going to be where I place off to the side for bigger projects like Traveler's Notebook, 6x8, and even 12x12 layouts. As I mentioned that I'm trying to um, get this kit to distribute basically all the products to make it as big as it can get and then to break it down into mini projects. I have always used this for Project Life and I'm trying to make my subscription stretch among all other products throughout the year to get a better feel of this brand and this design and just get creative with it that pile there to the right i'm going to be just making into uh, project life cards the two busier patterns there underneath are going to be fussy cutting into some embellishments comment down below and let me know if you break down your collections it doesn't have to be a kit it can be just uh, a whole line from a certain brand do you familiarize yourself and break it down into projects or do you just wing it <laughs> either way it works so as you noticed from the pattern papers it comes out to one four by six two three by fours and a nice little strip there on the right that i'm gonna also incorporate throughout the um the projects one of the three by four cards i'm going to keep within the projects and then the other three by four card um, basically the duplicate i'm going to keep off to the side so that way if i want a heart shape i'm you know or a, a circle punch and i want to cut them out into shapes i have that um ability all right you guys i'm back with everything all cut what a stack you guys i have quite <laughs> the amount of cards now um and i have a ton of um, embellishments here the regular ones and then here the, all the fussy cut you guys i did the whole sheet as well as the polaroid frames i'm thinking of a currently with those um frames uh you know just place itty bitty little pictures and then like a currently of like enjoying the ing words basically i also am going to make some embellishments out of the shapes here i may do some tone on tone on the cardstock i do have the cardstock from this brand or on the additional three by four card that i mentioned so options are there i'll do that as we get into the projects i'm not sure what i need right now here I'm giving you a quick viewing of all the cards that I've managed to now have within the kit that I'm about to break down into smaller kits. 
I'm debating to cut that into blocks, but we shall see. And I would like to know what I'm cutting it for before I do that. <laughs> hmm. There you have it. We have two of everything. I, like I said, I am going to pull out the duplicate so that way um, if I need to cut it for any shapes or stamping, um, I have them there off to the side. Who knows, uh, maybe next month if there is another paper pad. I don't think they do paper pads every single month. Um, I, I'm thinking of new ways each month. So this was something that I have been wanting to do to cut it down and make additional Project Life cards. These cards are from the freebie um, within the release if you're a subscriber, but they are still available. They're digital, so your uh, digital printables. I went ahead and print them out so that way as I distribute them throughout the projects, I have them there. I'm starting with Project Life week 14. I've mentioned I normally use this brand for Project Life. I have a total of seven projects lined up for you guys. And I still have a lot of products that I can totally do more. Um, I'm going to probably do the rest, you know, off camera. I don't know what I'm going to be recording. I normally report re uh, record my Project Life. We shall see. All right, here is Project Life week 15. I did place my labels into each of the pockets so that way I don't get them confused because that would suck. <laughs> and now I'm picking out my cards. There was a birthday party for this week, so celebrate sounds awesome. It's perfect. I love when it works out that way. And I'm looking for the yellow card that says big hugs because this week he just kept, my son, my toddler, just kept giving me hugs and hugs and hugs and hugs. <laughs> He wouldn't stop, and it was just so adorable. I was actually feeling pretty down this week. Um, I think I've mentioned before I was kind of out of it. I don't know if it's the change of season, um, the fact that I didn't have a pillow at night, and my neck kept hurting. And I don't even like pillows, but I got used to them because my husband always had one. And then um, I didn't like the pillow we got, and um, it was starting to affect my sleep. I would pass out on the couch, and... I started having like my neck just horrible. Anyways, I think that's probably why I've been in a rut lately all month. I just has to, I haven't been getting a good sleep and you guys, I love my sleep. It just makes all the difference uh, feeling better in the morning to start your day. You know, it's like bringing your problems from yesterday if you don't have a good sleep. Does that make sense? I don't know. Okay. All right, this is week 16 in my Project Life album. I am behind for 2022, so this is really helping me catch up to the fact that I already have all my photos printed since I am behind. I don't have, um, I have more to do, but um, it's going to whip up pretty fast. I circled on this one, I think, because I really wanted to add in some blue, since there is a lot of blue going on on this spread, as well as the pink, though. There was only one uh, little bit of pink on that one 4 by 6 of the sunset, you guys, I love my sunsets. You're always going to see some kind of form of sunrise or sunset, some kind of nature, especially with clouds. I don't know. It's my thing. It's my thing. Um, but I, I try to bring in this pink just to help bring in that pink card. It's so beautiful. Um, but I don't go with it. I go with uh, these two cards here. And I do place additional cards within the, the projects in the little pockets. And I just feel I like to have that option, especially if I'm struggling with both cards. And who knows, on that week, I will make that decision. So extra cards it is. And I'll place it in my stash at the end of the month, whatever I don't use. Comment down below, let me know what you tune in for, the techniques. I've been doing Project Life for, since 2015. There are gaps in most of my journals, um, most of my albums, no surprise there. But um, I have gotten down my formula and then I like to spice things up here and there. I have four Project Life weeks um, pocket page here that I want to do. However, I do know within myself lately I've been wanting to switch things up toward the end of the month even though I love the aesthetically pleasing look having one brand consistent in my album I do like the idea of either spicing up the last week uh, making my own project life cards doing something different on the last week this is why I'm mentioning it this is week 17 this is the fourth project life spread and i may not keep these cards i may go with a different brand or i may go with a different line or i may switch it up and just do my own project life cards using this stash comment down below and let me know what you like when you're watching my videos do you like the techniques that i'm throwing out there the process 
um, me talking about the photos. Uh, just, I would love to hear it, especially in VT Project Life. And um, how do you keep going? How do you keep chugging along? Because that's basically what I'm throwing out there. This is a project that we do all year. <laughs> These is these are some of the things that I do. Like I'm considering using this stash, using this these products throughout the four weeks. But by the end of the week, I'm by the end of the month, I may switch that up. All right, I'm moving to the Traveler's Notebook projects now. Here, so this is the first layout. It is a photo of the golden egg. We do an egg hunt, and we love finding the golden egg, and we like to see which kid found it every year. I have purchased the stickers from this brand and it says I found it. It says excellent, happy Easter, and that was so perfect. So I'm definitely going to be using it for this layout along with some of the cards from the kit. As you can see here, I went ahead and I thought this was going to be it. A little bit of uh, layering, but then I remembered that I have the strips that I cut off of the pattern papers and I thought I can place them down below do a bit of a staggering here um, and then place the sentiments on there so that's as far as I got with that idea and as I get into this layout we'll see how it comes out so I'm gonna pull the stickers back to like yeah I like that idea kind of giving them their foundation or their base for the sentiments like washi tape strips I think they work just like washi tape strips so I'm picking out the colors that match within the photo and the pattern papers that I chose, the pattern cards. There you have it. That's Traveler's Notebook story number one. Moving on to the other two. I think I got three total. All right, this is the photo uh, photos of the carnival. Due to the pandemic, they had not showed up in our town for, I think, two years. So I was beyond ecstatic to finally be able to go this is something that we always did as a, when I was a child. So to bring my kids to this, oh my God, you guys, I loved it. And it made me think of this pattern paper here within the paper pad. And it says, remember this, there's seven different color schemes there. So I thought, I, oh, I can definitely see myself writing seven stories in regards to this event. And um, I, so I'm going to do like a collage. I'm going to have to trim most of the photos on the left portion of the spread um, to fit into, you know, the side on the left side. I think I'm just going to do it on um, white cardstock. And then um, moving to the right side, I'm going to do seven different stories. I did try to add in some embellishments thinking that maybe I won't need to do a lot of journaling. But you guys, I will stick to, to my guns on making sure these stories get told so I won't be using all these embellishments but um I did leave them there just in case but I don't think I'm gonna have enough room all right moving to the last story it's also it's another traveler's notebook spread um it's a photo of my husband going down a water slide and I make the second photo bigger just to cut out a circle of him and I'm gonna place it on the photo in the back if that makes sense and you'll see it <laughs> when I get that project done. I may not record all the uh, process videos for these projects however at the end of the month or I think it makes more sense since this is showing up so late in April I will start sharing all the projects that I've done with my stash or this kit um, right before the next release so roughly between May 9th or May 10th I will start sharing all the products that I did that I did not share already. So if I do have a process video on any of these, more than likely it's gonna be the Project Life uh, spreads and then any additional ones that did not get shared, I will share the completed layout um, on May 9th or May 10th. Yeah, and I can also talk about the review of the, I uh, tend to reveal the release on that day so that I can sit there and say what I got in my cart. Hopefully not too many items, <laughs> but I cannot resist. You guys, I pulled out so many different embellishments for this spread, along with the uh, two titles that you see. They're the So Happy and the Big Smiles. Those were from last month. I still had them on top of my desk, and I thought it was such a perfect layout to use them for since I had got a picture of my husband close up, and he was smiling oh so big, and I just loved it. As you can see here, I have still quite a lot of product left over I'm adding some to the pockets here for the um just to kind of see if I'm going to use them so we have a total of seven different projects so far and I cannot wait to share with you guys so here it is until next time thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys